Hello, my friends. It's me again, I know, with more subtraction lessons, but this time with regrouping. I know, I know, it's not your favorite. I get it. But you know we have to learn it. You know we have to do it. So let's get to work. Before we start, I want to show you a little something I wrote here that just says, what is regrouping? Now it's different for addition and subtraction. This is what it means for subtraction. When we don't have enough to subtract and we have to go to another place to get more. And by place, I don't mean like Publix or Walmart. I mean the hundreds, the tens, or the ones to get more. We're not really the ones in subtraction. We're really gonna stay in the hundreds and tens. Now remember in subtraction, when we regroup, it's that we had too much of a number and we had to move some more over because it didn't fit, right? You know we can't write 15 on the bottom, so we had to put the five and move the one on top. If your parents are listening, we call that back in the day carrying and borrowing. Yeah, that's what it used to be called back when we were kids, but not anymore. It's called regrouping, but we still do the same thing. Shh, don't tell anybody, okay? They call it common core, but it's the same, all right? So for us today, for subtracting, we are going to be regrouping but for subtracting, it means we don't have enough, okay? We know in subtraction, sometimes the number on top is smaller than the number on the bottom. So what do we need to do? Well, I made a little trick here for you. I wrote it on the chart. I know you see it and you're like, oh my God, Ms. Bark, it's this trick. I have to know what it's about. Here it is. Here is the trick. I want you to ask yourself, more on the floor. The floor meaning the bottom. The floor is the bottom, the floor meaning the bottom number. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Now remember, we always go to the very next neighbor, okay? We don't, we're not going all the way down the street. We're just gonna go next door and be like, excuse me, do you have any of this? I really need it, okay? The second one is more on top, don't stop, meaning just subtract straight down. You know if the bigger number's on top, you just take it away, that's it, no problem. So we're gonna practice that today two ways. First, we're gonna to have to regroup from the tens, and the second, we're gonna to have to regroup from the hundreds, okay? We don't regroup from the ones because that's where we start, that doesn't make sense, and we don't regroup past that because we're only doing three digits, easy. So, here we go. First thing I'm going to do, you should all know it. Look at my problem, 491 minus 265. I'm gonna draw my H. Okay, hundreds, tens, ones, got it. Step two, trick, go to the ones, more on the floor, but let's see. I have one and I have five. Hmm, is there more on the floor or more on top? You tell me. So like Mickey Mouse, you know, like when Mickey asks the question and the kids answer, that's what it is, okay? I Mickey Mouse, you answer the questions. One minus five, remember what Miss Park always tells you. If I have one, can I take away five? If I have one cookie, can I eat five cookies? No, okay, you're right, that doesn't work. All right, but I really want five cookies, but I only have one. What do I need to do? Go next door and get 10 more. Next door meaning the very next place. I'm not going all the way to the hundred, that don't make sense. I'm gonna go right here to my friend, tens. Okay, my friend tens, I'm gonna take 10 more. Remember, you're not doing nine minus 10. These are the tens, right? You have nine of them, you're just taking one of the tens. So I'm gonna cross that out, it becomes eight, because we're only taking one away, okay? And then you're gonna move it over, okay? This is where the 10 comes in, because you're gonna add the 10 to that number. Remember my trick I taught you when we did two digits, okay? We're just gonna take the 10 and we're just gonna Put it right there. One plus 10, this is what you're doing, one plus 10. But remember, my trick is just, bam, done. I didn't even have to add because I just put the one right there. Boom. Now I have 11. Now do I have more on top? I have 11 cookies, thank God. Now I can eat five, hallelujah. All right, so I have 11 minus five. Remember? If you want to draw this out and exit out the fives, I don't care. If you want to start at five and count up, I don't care. That's fantastic. 
Let's do that now. Put five in your head. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bam. How many did I? How many did I? <laughs> how many did I put in? Six. All right. So my answer is six. Okay. Now I can go to the tens. Is there more on the floor? I have eight and six. More on top. Don't stop. Eight minus six. So I say six, seven, eight, two. And then I have four minus two is two. Bam, there we go. First problem done, okay? If you use this little rhyme, this little poem, I find that it actually is like really helpful. If you wanna just say, is the big number on top? It's the same thing, okay? Let's go on to the second problem. All right, same idea, same thing. Put the camera down a little bit for you, as you can see, all right. So, I'm gonna draw my H, one, two, hundreds, tens, one. All right, same thing, start in the ones, more on the floor or more on top? Well, let's see, I have eight on top, three on the floor. Eh, we're good. More on top, don't stop, eight minus three, I have eight, I take, I keep doing that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it right. I have eight, I take away three, and I have five left. There we go. Bam. All right, now I'll go over to the tens. Four minus seven. Do I have more on top or more on the floor? Mmm, more on the floor. Okay, here we go. Same thing. All right, I'm going to go over here to my friend, the hundreds place. Put a little X there. Remember, I'm just taking away one of the hundreds, and I'm going to move it over. So now I have seven. And remember the trick, I'm going to add the 10 here and I'm just going to draw my one. If you want to cross it out and write 14, I don't care. Instead of four, now I have 14 because I did four plus 10. Remember, you're moving 10 over every time, even in the hundreds, even in the ones, doesn't matter, okay? 14 minus seven, ah, now I have more on the top. Okay, now we're talking, this is the double stacked. Seven plus seven is 14. And now I can do seven minus four, no problem. Four, five, six, seven, three. And just like that, you just subtracted with regrouping. Look at that. Now, remember what we talked about yesterday about getting your work checked before you turn it in, okay? If you are able to do that. If you are not able to do that, maybe you can try to take a picture of your work and send it to me. Um, you can do that with a cell phone or you can use that class dojo. You can email it to me if you feel like you're really having trouble, okay? And then I want you to go do your comprehension check, complete all of that. Make sure you leave a comment when you watch the video so I know you watched it and make sure you leave a comment when you complete your comprehension check, okay? We're also going to be working on word problems, all right? Figuring out how to pick out the numbers from word problems. It's the same strategies as addition, but you're just going to be subtracting, okay? You guys have done a great job. I'm super proud of you. Um, I miss you guys. If you need me, send me a message, send me an email, and I will see, I will see you in our next video.